G'day folks, Brett from Temp World in Toowoomba here. Today I've got the Dometic Waco CFX 50W with me. Uh, this is a great medium lightweight fridge freezer, um, which is very portable um, and great for taking away on your camping adventures. The overall length of it is 72.5 centimetres, the width of it is 47.1 and the height of it is 45.5 centimetres. Comes in at a weight of 20.4 kilos which can be easily lifted like so. So now let's have a look at the uh, business end of the uh, fridge itself. Down here we have the Genuine Waco compressor. We also have the uh, um, USB socket so you can power additional devices um, and you have the emergency override um, switch here just so you, if you want to just run the fridge uh, the compressor I should say the other features um, won't be running they're the main things there um, moving on to the rear of it we have the two power inlets uh, the 12 and 24 power inlet on this side here which is for your cars and your trucks and then obviously when you're at home you've got the 240 volt over here if you want to use this as an additional fridge or freezer at home. The average power consumption for this uh, fridge freezer was run on five degrees Celsius over a period of 24 hours on a 32 degree day and it was drawing 0.77 amps per hour. Just to give you a bit of an idea of power consumption on this, this unit. G'day folks, before moving on to the internal features, I wanted to show you one last external feature and that is the unique lid that it has. It can be opened from the side and actually fully detached, like so. You can also change which side you'd like to open the fridge from. Um, you can do that by removing these hinges here and installing them onto this side here itself. Uh, on the inside here at the moment, I have the two power cords for your 24 and 12 volt as well as your 240 volt and your instruction manual inside as well. This total compartment holds up to 46 litres uh, which is a total capacity of 72 cans. Um, on this side we have the dairy zone which can hold your butter um, and then this side your more refrigerated items um, which is supported by a uh, internal basket which can be removed as well as divider like so. It's also tall enough to hold your wine glasses which is great and another great feature of it is there is a drain plug which you can remove out of it for when cleaning. So just simply remove the basket and then that's the drain plug you just pull out and then you're able to clean it out. Just putting the lid back on simply just lining up the hinges with the lid and then that's it. Just wanted to fill you in on a couple of the extra features of this Dometic Waco fridge freezer. The first one is that it has Wi-Fi enabled technology which means that you can operate it from your phone um, using an app. The second thing in is that the temperature capacity of this fridge freezer goes from minus 22 up to 10 degrees Celsius. The final thing is that it comes with a manufacturer's warranty of three years and an additional two year parts only on the compressor. Now that we've finished discussing all of the main features of this fridge out in the field, I've actually brought it inside to power it up and just show you how to use this control panel to change the settings. I've also wanted to touch on the actual durability of these handles on the side. They do protrude out uh, four centimeters either side of the main compartment of this fridge, um, but they are fixed in. Uh, the handles themselves are very durable, uh, tough, um, and they also have a spring in them so that, that when you lift it up, um, you get to a certain height and lift it, it'll, um, you're all good, and then it will retract back down um, to keep it nice and flush as well. So let's uh, have a look at the control panel and get this fridge started up. So I'm fully connected to the power and all I have to do now is hit this power button on the left hand side here. You'll notice that there's a green light just means that the compressor is running trying to get that desired temperature on the inside. Now if I want to change the actual uh, temperature setting all I have to do is hit the set button once and then use the plus and minus arrows here to go up and down. It goes down to minus 22 but what I'll do is 
change to minus 18. So once that blinks a couple of times, if you want to change the settings from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you have to hit the set setting button twice and then plus or minus for your Celsius or Fahrenheit. Blinks a couple of times, that means it's setting. Now, if you want to actually operate this uh, fridge using your app on your phone through the Wi-Fi, what you have to do is actually turn the Wi-Fi on in the fridge. The way you can do that is by pressing this set button five times and then using the plus and minus keys to turn it on and off. Now let's have a look at trying to connect the Wi-Fi from this fridge through to my phone and being able to control it from my phone. So first up, uh, what I'd like to do is go across to your phone, go to your App Store or Google Play um, and download the CFX app. Uh, once you've done that, just follow the prompts that are on the inside. So you've got the down the bottom connection guide, uh, select the type of um, fridge you have. So I've only got a single compartment, not a dual. So I've got a single. Now it's just instructing you to pretty much press this set button five times and then turn the Wi-Fi on. So now that it's on, I'll let it set it. Now it's set, keep continuing. Now I've got to go over through to my settings and actually connect to the fridge's Wi-Fi. There's also down the bottom here, it also tells you the password to enter for the Wi-Fi. Across to my settings, there it is, CFX. Connect through to that. So what I can do now is actually change the temperature using this scale bar on here, which you can use a plus or minus down the bottom, or you can actually just use your finger and scroll up and down. And what this will do, it'll also um, turn this uh, green light to amber, just meaning that it's reached its temperature and the compressor doesn't need to start up again. Um, so if I now want to change that back to say minus 18, use a scale bar again, and then it's setting it again. It also is able to tell if your lid is open as well. So if you look, watch this uh, top part up here, I'll lift the lid, and as you can see, it's saying that the lid is actually open. Once I close it, it says it's closed. You can change your battery protection mode from high, medium to low. You can also set your temperature alarm. You can change your temperature from Celsius through to Fahrenheit. That You can turn the fridge on and off um, with the power button, uh, which is located up on the top uh, right-hand side of the screen here. So if I hit that, it will turn the, the power off. So it's saying, do you want to turn the um, power off? Okay. Let's just turn the power off of the fridge. Now if I want to turn it back on, do you want to turn it on? Press OK. Now if you'd like to find further information on this product, please go across to the Tent World website, which is www.tentworld.com.au. Otherwise, go into one of our local stores and talk to our friendly staff. Cheers. Thank you.